Hello everyone, my name is Atish and as you all know that we have started with the topic that is how to get the numerical solution of the first order differential equation namely of the type dy by dx is equal to f of xy where the initial value is given to you. Okay, this problem is also known as initial value problem. Okay, now as you know that uh, under this topic we have four different methods that we have already discussed in the last learning video. Do you remember what are those four methods? So these four methods were number one, what is it? Number one is Taylor series method. Number two, Euler modified method. Number three, Runge Kutta method. And number four, Milne predictors corrector method. And in the last learning video, we have seen uh, how, to, uh, how to get the solution of uh, first order differential equation with the help of Taylor series method and what is the uh, best thing about that method that method is the single step method just in a single step will get the solution whereas the rest of the methods that is the Euler modified method and uh, Runge Kutta method and Milne's predictor corrector method these methods are iterative methods okay so in this learning video we are going to take a method named as Euler modified method so many of you might be uh, reading this uh, as Euler that is an incorrect pronunciation uh, its name is uh, Euler okay so uh, that is the topic we have in today's class Euler modified method okay now let us see the uh, procedure so we will be given like uh, this system dy by dx is equal to f of xy some uh, differential equation first order differential equation will be given to you and some initial values okay then uh, with the help of Euler's modified method we are going to find out y of x1 and to get y of x1 will make use of the Euler's formula okay so where what is this h this h is nothing but the state size okay we'll come to that how uh, we'll come to that what is the importance of step size because this is the important thing which will be required in order to get the solution depending on the value of h will uh, will make decision on how many steps will be there or how many iterations will be there in order to get the solution okay now once you get this, uh, once you uh, get the uh, value of y1 by the Euler's formula, so this is also called as predictor. Okay. Now after you are getting this, why why it is called predictor? Because it predicts the solution of the given differential equation. Okay. Means it will give you an idea that this this may be the solution or the solution may be uh, near to the value given by this formula. Okay but that is not the solution then what we are going to do is with the help of this value we are going to modify the value of y1 and the first modified value or the first approximated value of y1 which is denoted by y11 is given by the modified formula that is why the name of this method is modified method why because Euler's formula helps you to predict the value or predict the solution of the given differential equation whereas the later on formulas will be there which will modify its value to the desired degree of accuracy okay now we'll make use of this formula to get the value where what is now x1 x1 is x0 plus h rest of the values are known to you okay f of xy so with the help of f of x y you can find f of x 0 y 0 okay with the help of x 1 y 1 you can find out f of x 1 y 1 y 0 and x 0 is given to you you can make use of these values okay now whatever whatever value that we have found out that is the first approximate value now we have to correct it now to correct this value we have a corrector formula okay so uh, when we have to modify the value of y11 which is y12 so read it as second approximate value of y1 first approximate value of y1 and so on okay and it is given by y12 is equal to this formula okay 
now you may arrive at a questions that uh, till when we have to uh, find out all those uh, corrected or approximate value like y11 y12 uh, y13 and so on so you have to continue this process till the two consecutive value of y1 agree okay suppose we have found out y1 and uh, and we are getting some value say 1.1025 okay and in y12 suppose i got the value 1.1026 okay so i can terminate the process or if you want the uh, as it is answer so you have to do one more calculations okay so the difference between these two is very negligible 0.0001 okay so we can terminate the process clear now this is just y1 now as i said this is very important step size is very important suppose we are given that uh, we have to find out the solution of some problem at uh, y is equal to 0.2 okay and the values are given to you like y is equal to say uh, y of 0 is equal to 1 okay and step size is given to you as 0.1 okay now what is our objective our objective is to get the value of y of 0.2 and we have the step size 0.1 so to go from 0.1 to 0.2 how many steps are required and we have to start with the initial value we have to start with the initial value okay so to go from 0 to 0.2 how many steps are required by taking a step size of 0.1 obviously two right so we need two steps so with the help of this we will be getting a answer in one step okay so uh, further calculations are required why because because the method is of two step method okay because we have to find out point 2 y of point 2 and we have a step size of point 1 and we have to start with 0 so 0 to point 1 one step and point 1 to point 2 that is the second step so you can write here this is as step number 1 okay and we have to find out the value till the values will get repeated now the second thing is we have to take step 2 so step 2 says if required will find will find y2 or in other words y of x2 by euler's formula so y2 can be found out by by using this formula so if you remember uh, or if you uh, if you can see here what i have done in the second step i have done nothing i had just increase or just uh increase the value of the suffixes by 1 okay likewise when we get the first modified approximation of uh, y2 so what is the first approximate value of y2 that is y21 and it is given by now can you write so just pause the video for few seconds and try to write down the formula for first approximated value of y2 okay so just pause the video write the formula and then resume the video so i hope you might have written it so what is the first approximate value to y2 this is y1 this is x1 y1 x2 and this is y2 okay and likewise you can find out the second approximate value of y2 So it is y one, x one, y one, x two, y two one. Okay, so what we are doing is first we are taking a value y two, and then in the next approximation we are taking the previous value. Okay, so that will uh, lead you to the desired degree of accuracy. And in this method, the errors. the errors at each steps of euler's method is reduced to almost zero okay so suppose we have some error in this answer so in the next step it would be reduced to almost zero not zero exactly but almost zero okay so you just need to uh, remember this uh, procedure in order to solve the problems okay 
so i hope this uh, procedure is clear to you uh, if it is uh, not then when we will be taking the examples you will uh, understand these things and you will actually find this uh, procedure to be very easy okay because mathematics is all about learning by doing when it, uh, when you start doing this okay you will get the things easily okay so thank you for watching this learning video and in the very upcoming lecture we'll be taking a problem on it okay so thank you